The OpenSSL tool in Kali Linux can be used to do asymmetric encryption on files. So you can encrypt files with the public key, which could only be decrypted by the private key, or vice versa. To start with, you can generate a key. In this case, we're going to use RSA. The function in OpenSSL to generate RSA keys is called GenRSA. And if you want to use a different kind of public key encryption, you would need to generate a key of that type. And OpenSSL does contain other asymmetric encryption algorithms. For the GenRSA algorithm, you specify an output file into which the key is placed. You can name the file what you like with any extension, but the standard convention is to use the PIM extension. And then you specify a key size, such as 8196. Then the gen RSA module will generate the RSA private key to the length that you specify. The private key needs to be kept private. This key, is, if it is leaked, makes the public-private key pair useless. A new key would have to be generated at that point. We've already generated a public key-private key pair to use for this demonstration, so we'll use that one in the following examples. First, we need some text to encrypt. You can use text output such as from the echo. However, be careful that by default, echo will actually output more than just the characters you specify. This is not important if you're simply trying to encrypt a file in daily use. But if you're using this information to do a lab exercise, or if you're trying to recreate results that have already been created, be careful not to have unintended characters in your file or the string being encrypted. We can see in this example that the letters H-E-L-L-O -L -L are present, but there's also one extra character. Note this computer uses a little Indian format, so we need to read these blocks from right to left. 48 is H. 65 is lowercase e, we have l, l, and then 6f is lowercase o. Finally, we have a line feed. This being a Linux system, pressing the enter key produces a line feed. If you're in a Windows system, this may be a character turn line feed or characters 13, 10, which would give you 0d, 0a. This being Linux, it's just character 10, the line feed, or 0a in hex. So we're going to be careful to only output the letters from the word hello without the line feed. To do this, use the dash n option for echo. And we can see that the line feed is not output with the dash n option. And we can save that to a file, such as file.txt. And so we can see the same word hello was output into file.txt. To do the encryption, we're going to first need the public key. When you're doing using asymmetric cryptography to encrypt a file for someone, you encrypt with their public key, the key that you know. They can use their private key to decrypt the file, and due to the properties of asymmetric encryption, only their private key will decrypt the file. So to start with, we need to extract our public key from the private key.
So we're going to use the RSA module in OpenSSL. We're going to specify the private key. We will output the public key. And we need to specify the output form. And we'll see that the public key has been extracted from the private key file. Note that the public key is perfectly fine to give away. In fact, that's exactly what you want with your public key. You want everyone else to know your public key so that they can use that key to encrypt documents for you. Also, you can sign documents with your private key, essentially encrypting the document more or less, leaving out some details. And then people that have your public key, basically everybody, can verify that you were the one who actually signed the document. So now that the public key file has been output, we can use this to do encryption. Again, we're going to use the RSA module. And we're going to specify that in this case we want to encrypt the key that we're going to use is the public key we're going to let OpenSSL know that the public key is being taken in as input the file that we want to encrypt is file.txt that contains the word hello and then we'll output a file that contains the ciphertext. We'll call this file.txt.rsa. The extension is not important, we're just giving it a different extension so we're careful not to overwrite our original file. Note that no password is needed to encrypt with a public key. This is not password-based encryption, it's asymmetric key or public key encryption. We can look at the file.txt.rsa and hex dump, and we can also look at it just as a regular file. It may make a little more sense to look at it in hex dump or base64 and code it, before sending it because we can see that the characters used in the encryption don't always print very well. To do decryption we can use the encryption command line as a model but we need to change the mode from encrypt to decrypt and again we mentioned earlier that we'll need to input the private key in order to do the decryption because we encrypted with the public key. We're not taking in the public key, so we need to remove the pub in option. The input file is going to be file.txt.rsa. That's the file that has the ciphertext. The output file is going to be plain text. We'll call this file.txt.dec for decrypted, but it doesn't make any difference. In this case, we're just giving it an extra extension so that we don't overwrite the original file, file.txt. If we output the files, we can see the contents are the same. We can also use hex dump. Or you can use the file program to compare them. Excuse me, the diff program. 
and so we can see that there are no differences between the original file and the decrypted file giving us confidence that we did the exercise correctly.